The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. At the end of the war, the end of the Second World War, there was a rov called Rabbi Yitzhak Isaac Rosenbaum, the Zutschke Rebbe, very chosh of a chosh of a yid, a heilig, a heilig, a yid, ish kodesh ad moid. And in one of his things, big things that he did is he tried to stop people from working on Shabbos. He tried to close down factories and he did. He was matzliak to close down 120 stores on Shabbos, which in those days was a massive thing. And the Zutschke Rebbe used to go, this was one particular maisa that happened. He went on a Shabbos afternoon, it was after davening, he had his stramel on, he had his beautiful talis on, he was dressed in his finest Shabbos clothing. And he left shul and instead of going home, he went towards town. And his Hasidim looked at him and said, Rebbe, what, what? He said, mm. and he was going closer and closer to where all the industrial areas were. And there he was, right in front of one of the big factories. And he says, right after the war, Rebbe, you say. He walks in, you know, the big strammel and the tallest, the whole, the whole thing. He walks into the factory. And he says, take me to the sewing floor. So they take him to the sewing floor. And he sees there a sight that every person working there, and there were tens if not hundreds of workers, all yidden. All of them were yidden. And they were working on Shabbos, busy sewing on Shabbos. And he went past every row of those Jews sewing. And he said to them, good Shabbos, good Shabbos. Now he wasn't doing it chas for shalom, he wasn't doing it to make fun. He wasn't doing it then to chepper them up. They, they felt the love, they felt the ava, they felt the realness. That he wanted to wish them a good Shabbos. And he went, every single one, wished them a good Shabbos, and they watched how every single person got a good Shabbos from the Rebbe. The Hasidim were waiting for it. Like, when's the Rebbe going to stand up and say, Shabbos! You know, none of that. He didn't do anything like that. So what happened was, one particular person, post the war, came over to the Rebbe and said, Rebbe, you have to understand, my whole family was wiped out. I watched them. I watched them walk into the gas chambers. I lost my wife, I lost my children, I lost my parents, I lost everything. I just wanted to create a new life. I'm starting afresh. This is how I'm doing it. And the Rebbe started crying with that person. And the next person came over and said, you have to understand, I lost my wife. I miss her so much. I just want to start afresh. And one by one, they came over to the Rebbe. And before you knew it, there was a huge crowd standing by the Rebbe, each one telling over their story and why they ended up over there. And the Rebbe, with love in his face, a true love for Klal Yisrael, didn't tell them off, didn't give them words of Musa. All he said was, but Rabbi Yisrael, it's Shabbos Kodesh. The Hasidim watched. And when the Rebbe left, he left the factory to go to the next floor, whatever it was. He watched that one by one. These workers took their belongings and they left the factory. And that, the next week the factory was closed. He understood what Shabbos was. He understood what is a Shabbos Kodesh and therefore gave it over to other people. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.